It is being reported that radiation from the Fukushima power plant has reached the west coast of the Pacific. At the annual Ocean Sciences meeting of the American Geophysical Union in Honolulu, researchers have said that waters off the Canadian coast have shown traces of cesium-134. The isotope has been detected off the shore of Vancouver. Cesium-134 has a half-life of two years, and it can only be found in the North Pacific as a result of the reactor meltdown at Fukushima nuclear power plant. It is the detection of this isotope that indicates the presence of radiation from Japan's nuclear disaster. U.S. beaches have also been tested for signs of the Fukushima radiation, but official test results have shown that the radiation has yet to reach the U.S. coast. On March 11, 2011, nuclear reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant underwent a meltdown, releasing harmful radiation into the atmosphere and into the ocean waters. An earthquake unleashed a massive tsunami, which caused a catastrophic failure of the cooling systems at the nuclear power plants, leading to a full reactor meltdown, the worst possible disaster for a nuclear power plant. Among the isotopes released during the meltdown were cesium-134, cesium-137, and iodine-131. Cesium-137 has a half-life of 30 years and it is already found in the environment as a result of nuclear weapons tests conducted in past decades. Researchers are monitoring a large plume of radioactive water which has been making its way across the Pacific Ocean since the meltdown. The radioactive plume is expected to reach the U.S. coast sometime in April. The radiation is mostly concentrated within the top 300 feet of the ocean's water. Due to unpredictable ocean currents and other factors, it is not possible to predict with precision how high the levels of radiation will reach. However, researchers agree that the levels are expected to be far lower than the safety limits established by the United States.